guys, Tiffany here of Tiffany Gordon Cosplay, and today we are doing a sewing tutorial for how to make Umaru's hoodie. So let's begin. And the materials you're gonna need for this project is going to be three yards of orange fleece. You'll need adhesive backing felt in black and white, scissors, an orange button, and then thread for black, white, and orange, and of course your sewing machine with a universal sewing machine needle and some pins. And to help you with the face of the hoodie, I have a pattern available on my website, www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com, or see the link below. And to start off, we're gonna talk about the face. And for all of the face parts, we're gonna be using black and white adhesive backing felt. Tracing onto the back of these sheets, Starting off with the white, tracing the circle for the ears as well as the mouth shape. And then the nose, the eyes, and the eyebrows onto the black sheet. And then once they are traced, you can use scissors and cut out each of the pieces. And your pieces should look something like this when you're done. Now for the ears. For this, we're gonna be using orange fleece fabric. And on the back side, I traced the ear shape four times with a Sharpie. And then cut each of them out with scissors. Next, you will want to grab the circles for the ears and then remove the backing onto each of these pieces and attach them onto your orange ear fleece into the center spot. This is just a temporary bond onto the fabric, so we are then gonna go to our sewing machine and then sew it together. Using a universal needle with our needle on the right doing a straight stitch. Be aware, because there is an adhesive on the back of all of the felt, the needle may get a little bit gooed up on it, so you will need to clean this often. Next, you're going to want to take the two halves of your ears and pin them together with the inside out. And then again with a universal needle, and this time our needle on the left, you're going to do a straight stitch around the edge of the ear, leaving the bottom section open so we can flip it inside out. And then to ensure that it's going to hold properly, I like to go back around that and do an overlocking stitch so this way your fabric doesn't fray and you have a really nice strong bond. Next, you're gonna flip the ear inside out and then pin the bottom half together and then go back to your sewing machine and sew it with a straight stitch and then your locking stitch. I then cut out a bowl-like shape and this is gonna be what the face attaches to. Side tip, after I finished this entire hoodie, I did wish I had made the hood part a little bit higher, so I would recommend giving your space a little bit more from the bottom to the top. And I cut this shape out twice. Next, I used pins to mark on the fabric where the center was, and then put the face template in the center as well. Removing the film from all of the back of the felt and then placing it in the negative space on the template onto the orange felt. And then back to the sewing machine with the needle on the right doing a straight stitch going around all of the edges of our felt pieces for the face. Next, you're going to want to pin the ears onto the face part of the hoodie. And for this, I did a tack pin where I wanted them to relatively sit and then unpinned it and laid the white part of the ear so it was facing towards the face downward. Then you can pin it to the edge of the line. And then take the back part of the hoodie and place the two pieces together inside out and pin along the bottom flat section. Next, you will want to go back to your sewing machine, this time with your needle on the left, doing again another straight stitch, and sew the two pieces together where you pinned. And of course, going with an overlocking stitch after this. Once that's done, flip your piece inside out, so now you should see the face on the outside. And then starting with the part that was stitched, you will want to pin it so it lays flat, and then use the pins to go around the edge 
to pin both pieces together. And then we will sew this all together with our needle on the left with a straight stitch. Starting with the bottom flat section and then going around the curved section, including the ears this time. And only for the curvature part on this piece will I go back with an overcasting stitch. The bottom section is already finished. Now for the main body of the hoodie. And for this, I bought all the fabric that they had at the store at the time, and that was three yards of the fleece orange fabric. I would recommend if you are taller than five foot two, buying around three and a half to four yards to match your height. And for this step, I ended up laying all of my fabric flat on the ground and then folding it in half and cutting it into the two sections. This is important because your fabric, you want to go fully around your body as well as the length of your body. And also we want the felt part to be both on the inside and on the outside. So we're going to want to have just the same amount of material for both pieces. And once that was done, I took the face part that we've already made and pins it onto the top center half of one of our pieces. And the next step, yes, this is going to look really, really funny. I put it on one of my mannequins that has a head. This way I could put the hood part and tape it to the head and then have the fabric drape on either side of the body. This is gonna be so I can know where I want to add the button that will come around the chest section, as well as for me to kind of make the curvature that I want to frame the face. And once I had all of the pins in a relatively location that I wanted, I laid it flat onto the floor and cut this part out onto one side and then folded it in half and cut out mirroring it onto the other side. For the bottom part, I didn't want it to be just a rectangle, so I did a slight curvature going from the very bottom all the way to the side. I would recommend also pinning your two fabrics together at this point, so that way it does not move on you when you cut. And the final shape should look something like this. Next, you're gonna want to lay your other piece of fabric out on the ground and pin your new shape on top of it and then cut it out so you have two of the same new weird shape. After that's done, you're gonna want both of the fleece furry section to face towards each other and then you will want to pin around the outer section of the entire piece. And then to the sewing machine where you're going to stitch all the way around, but where the head location is going to be, you're going to want to leave that section open so that way we can flip it inside out later. And for this, again, I used a straight stitch with the needle on the left and then followed up with a locking stitch. And once done sewing, you can flip it inside out. This time, your fleece should be on the outside now. The next step is going to be to pin around all of the edges onto the entire piece. And one last time to the sewing machine for this part, doing a straight stitch around all of the edges, and this will end up being your finishing edge. And then for the top section, you'll wanna do a locking stitch to close off that edge. At this point, you should have two pieces for your hoodie, the face section with ears, as well as the main body section. And you will want to next pin the face section with the ears tucked in to the body place where the hood part is going to be. And once those two pieces are pinned, you can then go to the sewing machine and do your final stitch for this section with a straight stitch followed by your overlocking stitch. Ta-da! Now all you have to do is flip it inside out and then you're almost done! The very last step to your little hoodie is going to be to sew on your orange button and I did this by hand with a needle and thread. And then with the sewing machine, sewing your button hole. 
And for this, you can use the sewing machine buttonhole section if your machine has that, or you can do what I did and just do a zigzag stitch back and forth in a rectangular shape. And once you're done with that, just use some scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut open the hole in the center, and then voila, you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this cosplay sewing tutorial to make Umaru's hoodie. I hope you found it helpful, and if so, let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you for our next one. Much love, guys!